Hello, hello, welcome back to Bedrock in Minecraft, Prowl's Patreon Realm. And I am here, Avi Ender Ender, where I left off last episode. And I've been over here collecting some Ender Pearls because I plan on making a shop selling these things. So I'm going to go ahead and load up two shulker boxes. That'll be my beginning inventory. I'm going to sell these things by the shulker load. And not only am I going to be selling Ender Pearls in this shop, I also plan on selling some uh, chorus fruit. So it's going to be a general teleporting store. So I'm going to get on with that and I will catch y'all hopefully in the gaming district building the next shop. I'll catch you then. Quick word from our sponsor, Hashtag Infinity Incorporated. Did you know that you can use your Hashtag Infinity Bow? to shoot the chorus flowers off of a chorus plant. Those chorus flowers that are so high to get to, but you don't want to pillar up to them, well guess what? You can shoot them off with our very own hashtag infinity bows. Get rid of your trashy mending bow today and get your own very own maxed out infinity bow for only 19 diamonds. Sir, uh, sold in stores near you. Have a nice day. Before we get any further in today's episode, we have a quick word from our sponsor, Hashtag Infinity Corporations. Are you tired of running out of arrows just when you need them most? And then realizing you left your ender chest where you can't get to it for your shulker box full of arrows? Well guess what? There is a better way. You see, with an infinity bow, you only need one arrow to use your bow an infinite amount of times. So if you're out here in the end, you can just use one arrow to shoot an infinite number of chorus flowers. Yes, you heard that right. Get your infinity arrow bow today and you can shoot an unlimited amount of chorus flowers. Get yours today at stores near you for only 19 diamonds. Have a nice day and enjoy the rest of today's episode. Alright guys, so I am here at the shopping district. And I'm getting ready to build my shop. So I have decided to, of course I need to find a place for it first. But I've decided to go ahead and clear out some land. Because we've been needing to expand the shopping district a little as we we're getting a little bit crowded. My original plan was to cl uh, was to uh, expand up this mountain here, which I can't fly. Yes, I can, kinda. Anyways, I was planning on going up that mountain first. And what in the world is happening over here? Relic, what are you up to? Anyways, aside from that distraction, I've decided to bring the shopping district instead around over here behind this post office. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already cleared out of the trees, done a little bit of terraforming, a little bit of prep work. I'm going to bring my shop over here, the teleporting shop. But before I do anything else, Simba said she wanted to buy a stack of red mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is I know just where to find some red mushrooms out. So I'm going to go over to the gaming district and collect myself a few red mushrooms for her. And I'll catch you over there. All right, guys, so I am over here in the gaming district, which, of course, is a mushroom island, which means I get all of these guys right here. And if I use shears on them, I get five red mushrooms from them every time. So, I mean, it is a wonderful bargain. I only, she won't, the symbol only wants a stack of these, so I can just go for a bunch of these. I can kill them too, hopefully get some lever out of it. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get myself a stack of red mushrooms, and uh, I will catch y'all in the next clip. Alright guys, so I am here with Simba. I don't know what she is, oh, she's awake. Yep, she seems very weak, so I'm going to throw her the mushrooms. I'm going to go throw a 
an extra 21 just because I'm that kind of person. I'm going to say I'm going to say one diamonds. One diamonds. Why? Because I'm that kind of guy. Yeah. This clay. What's he doing over here? So, I'm going to come in here with her and hopefully get paid. All right, so it looks like she just threw down oh. She just threw down two diamonds. So I am happy. Everyone's happy. She has what I think of her tunnel. She's doing a Mario Kart themed tunnel. I think it is absolutely. I have terribly misspelled that, but who cares? Awesome and amazing. Mm hmm. And also, so it is. And what I'm going to do is I've got to look around real quick right over here because oh she's been at work over here hey yeah what do you know Batman is still over here yep Batman is still here let's see is this stuff still down here it is Batman this is secret bat base number three it is awesome it is still here the fires are still here in fact I'm gonna add me some seeds in there a few bird saplings because why not even a couple sticks some oak saplings, got a couple torches, and some dirt. There you go, Simba. He can keep all those, by the way. It is a gift for allowing Batman to stay in your house. So anyways, I've got that done. I'm heading back to the shopping district to get that shop underway. So I'm going to go do that now. All right, guys. So I am here. I'm getting. I am just got started on my shop, and it's not gonna be a building. I don't think it's gonna be more of a little, little more of a. Uh, I'm not quite sure how 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 it, how it, how I would describe it, but it's gonna be have lots of this endstone just sitting on the ground, and the shop is gonna be open air. So it's almost almost gonna be like an end campsite. I guess I don't know it's, it's gonna be something like that I guess so I'm gonna keep working on it hopefully what I have in my head will work out uh, into Minecraft and if it doesn't maybe something even better will happen so here's hoping I'll bring y'all back when I have something more to tell you all right guys so I think I have finished up here I am not a fan of these coarse flowers yet. We'll see what they look like once they grow up, but I don't know about that part. That'll, pro that'll probably be replaced. But down here, I've kind of converted it to a little cave down here. Where I've got everything kind of tucked away in the walls and stuff. So I'm selling shulkers of ender pearls, the entire box, for one diamond block. So that's nine diamonds. That includes the shulker box. Yes. Then also, I'm selling a coarse fruit, a diamond per three stacks, and a coarse flower set, which is a cor 16 coarse flowers, and end stone. I need to fill in the rest of the end stone. That'll be one diamond per 16. And then also, I have moved my old shop, which is right down there. I've moved all the stuff I was in it to over here, combined them all into one shop. So I'm selling shulker boxes. I will be selling the dragon heads, the end rods. And I'm also going to add another product. I'm going to start selling elytra because I had, I have quite a few elytra. I grabbed nine out. I'm going to go enchant them and name them. The others, they've been, let's see, relic sells elytra, nine diamonds for unenchanted, twelve diamonds for enchanted, and rave he sells them for nine diamonds unenchanted in his shop. So I'm going to sell them for twelve diamonds, but I'm also going to name them. And we're going to be super awesome names. It's going to be well worth buying my elytra over the other people's, the other people's elytras. So I'm going to fly right over here to the Omega bookstore, and I'm going to go ahead and enchant these. Which means first I need to pull out my diamonds, and I need to buy myself some mending and a breaking. So I'm going to need two, three. I should need that many diamonds. Let's put myself a clean shulker box, which I I do have one. What do you know? 
Let's see, so I'm gonna need some mending. One, two, three, just grab all nine of these. Go to condense fees. So that's now that's nine. I need unbreaking as well. Go throw these all into here. And two more and there's that. I grab myself a few minutes diamonds, but that's okay. So now so now I'm going to go through these. I'm gonna first I'm gonna enchant all of these, but I'm also going to name them. I'm good I've gotta think of myself some pretty cool names. I've already got a few names I already have, like a I've got Dragon Reach, I got Sky Glare, I got Lightning Thief. Some other pretty cool names, but I've got to come up with nine new ones. So I'm going to think about this, put on my thinking cap, uh, if I can find it and dust it off. So I'm going to go through all that, and I'll catch you when I'm done. Alright guys, and I have finished up, I was I had enough levels to do four of these. Uh, Elytra, and I still have five more I'll be doing. So I've, we've got Galaxy, we got Stardust, we got Eagle's Wings, and we have Spark right now. So we, I still have five more to go, but that is this job done. Once again, I'm probably going to, I've been thinking about it a little bit, so I'm probably going to come back with some iron bars be, uh, and for around here. But the main thing is I don't want a creeper to be coming in and falling down here, especially if I have shulker boxes. Uh, a lot of this stuff are quite valuable. I don't want anything to break. So I'm probably going to put some iron bars. I think that would look about a thousand times better. And Simba is trying to get me to name Simulitra Wings of a Fairy. And uh, I might do a special order name just for her. So anyways, I'm going to call it there. Aha, uh -huh. so Simba just made this guardi stone guardian out here, and she told me to come over here and name it, so I put down Batstone. And apparently gave her the idea to put up the Batman logo on him, which looks awesome. It is Saber approved. So I think she's going to make some more of these around the shopping district. So I think, we what am I doing? I am recording. And jumping for joy. So, anyways, this is awesome. I'm. I can't look. I can wait till there's more of these around here. So, I'll catch you in the next clip. All right, guys. It is now the next day, and I've come back to my shop, and I have already made a sale. So, someone bought a shulker box full of ender pearls. So, I am happy. The shop is already, start, is already starting to pay off, so I get to put this away. And now, come on. what I want to do is I kind of want to show you, not too many spoilers, but... So we've had this bounty tower that I built, and I like it's kind of, I kind of like its position. It's on top of a mountain. It's pretty cool. I mean, I put work into it, especially with a path going up here. Path going up the side of a mountain. The uh, inspiration for this here was I took my mom to the Grand Canyon uh, several months ago, but it was an absolute awesome trip. I enjoyed it. We hiked down to the bottom of a canyon and back up. So there are some places on the trail where it looked like this. I mean, it was it, uh, I, I I just thoroughly enjoyed it. So I I like this trail. I put a little bit of work into it. I was happy with it. But, you know what, let's be honest, it's kind of an inconvenient to climb to the top of a mountain for a bounty tower. That should have been some sort of monk, sa monk sanctuary or something. But no, I decided to put a bounty tower up there. And you have to climb all the way up here. I mean, you can't fly up there, but still. And then, once you get on the inside, I mean, the building itself, let's be honest, once again, it is barely even just okay. It's a saber build. And then as far as utility, it did the community 
bounties just it, it if a community bounty is just fine. We're able to get all the sand, all the TNT, all the obsidian. But then normal pe uh for us non community bounties, we have to come up this elevator. We have to look around in here. Somebody had a stone bounty in here. You had to go up here, you had to go to the next floor. If you want to go down a floor, you had to get over here. Get burned by the magma blocks and drop down. I mean, once again, it just was not convenient. So, what I have done is I have utilized this shop right here. This one made out of prismarine bricks. This is Simba's and TJ Moon's build and prank shop. So I have contact, contacted Simba on Discord, and uh, I'm going to pay her three stacks of diamonds for a replacement for the bounty tower. And she has already started it, and uh, that is what, and she's building it up over here. It is already looking fa uh, fab completely fabulous. Right now, it is still just with the shell, and the shell is not even complete. It's already looking pretty cool. The only requirement basically I had, other than it looking awesome, was it needs to be very open so that we can put our bounties easily accessible. And as you can see, I mean this is a, this is like the definition of open. So also on that note, Simba said that she is going to be recording building this. So I'm not going to show any more off and she showed me a picture of what she wants to build of what she wants it to look like on discord so it looks it looks beautiful you also definitely go out go watch her video as soon as it comes out i'll link her youtube channel in the description so you can keep an eye on for when her video comes out and uh, you get, and you'll get to see the work in progress but you also get to see the finished result because i'll probably kind of stay away from it for the next couple days in video so if y'all want to see that in its completion, y'all should to totally go check her out. It'll probably be her first video, so it'll be interesting. So anyways, aside from that, I need to move on to the next clip because I have one more thing in mind before I call today's episode, and I'll catch you back at my base. All right, guys. So the last thing I wanted to do today is Something some of you might have noticed, uh, you might be wondering what I'm talking about, but my hashtag infinity bow that I have hardly has any health left. So what I need to do is I need to mend this guy up. He is not mending, so I can't just grab some, I can't just grab a little bit of experience and mend him right up. But I might mention that I've had this bow for probably most of this realm. I don't, I, I'm not sure if I've had them for that, for that long because I have died and lost all my stuff uh, about two or three times. One time was a bug. It was a bug. I went for the end portal and it decided to put me in, uh, it decided to teleport me in the end to the same coordinates as in the overworld. So that means that instead of teleporting me to the spawn platform, the bad obsidian platform in the end on the main island, it teleported me out in the void, already dying by the time I spawned in. There's nothing I could do. So I died and lost everything to the void. I died another time. We were having a wither fight, dragon and wither fight. And I, uh, the I killed the wither, but I didn't have any health left, and I think it was uh, Enderman killed me instantly, or the wither effect killed me, I don't remember. But anyways, with my dying breath, I slew the wither, but then I died, and the wither exploded right on top of my dead body, on top of all my items, and all my stuff got destroyed. So I think I died a third of time and lost everything, I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, this is the first time I've had a Infinity to build long enough to actually have to repair it, and it's going to be real, it should be real cheap. Not in there, and here I'll grab myself another Infinity to build, 
And if I put that jaw down and this other bow, it only costs me five levels. So that is absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and rename them because hashtag infinity. Because, oh wow. Because even though Deadshot is a pretty cool name, hashtag infinity is so much more meaningful. So I'm going to be able to keep using this guy on. Probably, I mean, I'll be honest, probably I'll be able to use it for the rest of the season. Because we ha even though we have months to go still, this bow is going to last me several more months. And even if he does need to be repaired again, it won't cost probably more than 20 levels. So this one bow is going to last me pretty much all I needed to. I don't need no trashy mending bow. Uh, so, I mean, it's been wonderful. Infinity has done me good. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and hashtag infinity.